The end of the year is less than two weeks away, and there are some things you need to know now to make sure that you get the maximum tax deductions. Nick Harris is the president of Mark One Asset Management and joins me now with more on this. Nick, we appreciate you coming in. Thank you for having me. Okay, so there are several ways that taxpayers can make the most out of year in tax deductions. We want to start by talking about new tax deductions. Tell us what those are. Well, uh, Congress passed this year the new vehicle tax credit. Essentially, it allows someone to deduct the sales and excise tax on a vehicle up to $49,500, subject to certain income limitations. Hmm. Also, Congress extended the first-time home buyer credit to June 30th of 2010. It allows, if you purchase a home and close on it by uh, June 30th of 2010, a deduction either on your 09 taxes or your own 10 taxes. Okay. So those are two good programs that are meant to kind of get people back out into consuming again. That's great, cars and homes. What about property taxes? Well, in Oklahoma, by statute, uh, property taxes, there's basically three ways to pay them. Uh, you can pay them all before December 31st mm -hmm. of the current year, pay half December 31st and the other half on March 31st. It would be benefit a taxpayer if they had the economic resources available to go ahead and pay the whole property tax by 1231 of 2009. That way they could receive a deduction on their uh, 2009 taxes. That's great. I think people need to write all this stuff down because we want to know when we go to file our taxes. Absolutely. Um, you can also make charitable contributions. Most people know about that. Right, right. There's two. Basically, you can do a cash contribution or contribute some appreciated securities. Cash contributions to a qualified charity up to 50% of your adjusted gross income. There's also a provision in the Internal Revenue Code for certain appreciated securities. Now, you want to check with your investment and tax people to be sure that your securities qualify. If you had a stock that appreciated during the year, you could tr contribute it to a qualified charity like your church, receive a deduction for the security at its fair market value, and also avoid any capital gains because you've donated it in kind. So it's kind of a win-win situation. Okay, wonderful. What are some commonly overlooked deductions? Because I know there are some out there. Right. I think first off is we've had a pretty difficult year. A lot of people have lost jobs. Job hunting expenses. If you are looking for a job in the same profession, like if you went from being a dentist looking for another job as a dentist, you could deduct those uh, expenses, whether it's successful or not, uh, as on your taxes. Another thing I think that gets overlooked is uh, any type of unreimbursed employee expenses, if you have any licenses, uniforms, mileage that your employer doesn't reimburse you for, travel-related expenses your employer doesn't reimburse you for, you can deduct those. And thirdly, a lot of people that have investment advisors that are fee-only, the fees associated with that are deductible as well. Wonderful. Investors should make most of the capital gains and losses as well? I think so, yes. We've had an unprecedented two-year stretch in the stock market. We had a dramatic decline in 2000. Uh, Eight, a good rally this year so you want to net those gains and losses together and also if you have losses you can deduct up to three thousand dollars of those losses against your income so that's something you want to contact your investment of people about well just a lot of information that we appreciate you coming in well, thank you for having me thank you so much and for more on how to get the most of tax deductions click on our website news9.com look for the scene on news 9 tab and scroll over to first at four